Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, right, thanks for joining us on today's Real Deal Chevelle SS396. You know, there's a lot of Chevelles out there. There's a lot of SS396s, 454s, and what have you, and there's a huge disparity between a cheap car, okay, that looks like, hey, it needs a couple things on it, versus a car that costs a little bit more, and the reason I say that is, A, we do this every day, but B, the fact of the matter is, it is very expensive to restore a car and if you buy uh, a car that's say half the price of this car here and it looks the same in pictures, safe to say, it doesn't look anything like that when you get it because uh, I've tried to do that before and it definitely doesn't work out and you end up spending more and you never get to drive it because somebody's working on it the whole time and you miss out on everything. So we're gonna walk around this car. I'm gonna show you why this car costs what it costs, okay? And I wanna show you it going down the road so you can see what other people will see when you're driving it too, all right? So come on up here and let's talk about the cranberry red paint. All right, again, we talk about paint because the video helps us understand the quality of paint. Everything looks shiny in pictures. It's very difficult to make a car look bad in pictures, but the video shows everything because the clarity is so important. So for instance, like this right here, can you read all of the words in there nice and clear? Okay, and yes, you can. You can even see what time it is. And then this part right here I talk about, I'm sorry if I'm boring you and you watch these videos, which I appreciate very much, but for the people that don't watch them very much, I tell them these things because these are the things you have to look for because what happens is you can just paint a car and that's fine and then stripe it and it's fine too. It's a lot less work to prime the car, paint the car, wet sand the paint, okay? Then lay down the black stripes, wet sand those, okay? Keep the car taped up still, right? You're still, you're tying up the booth for a long time, an extra day or even two days, right? Um, which holds up, and that's why these cost a lot more money to do it this way. And then you clear coat the whole car, all right? That's what makes a big difference because now, because you can barely feel the stripes, you can wash and wax the car all you want, and that's what makes it uh, last and be beautiful for a really long time. Otherwise, after a while, these will start to tear and then they'll end up looking ugly, okay? The one thing that we do do for people, some people love this, some people do not. I just wanna let you know, uh, for the vinyl top that's on the car, that top is removable, okay? So we can take that off and just shoot the whole car red if you want. Uh, just ask us how to do that and, uh, and we can get that done. So we do that for lots of people all the time. Some people ask us to add a vinyl top, so uh, it's really a total matter of preference. I don't care either way. I think they look great with and without, so uh, it's not my, not my opinion on that one, all right? So let's walk around for a little bit because, again, we have new chrome bumpers, new headlight rings, new hood pins, all right? Front tag bracket. Well, you say, what's the big deal about a front tag bracket? You're right, not a big deal about a front tag bracket, but all these little things that we're gonna look at today and with a frame off restoration of a car, all right, is what adds up to all the expensive stuff. For instance, like the bumpers and the new grill and the fender well molding, the correct SS wheels with real BF Goodrich radial TAs. I mean, that's the right tire to have on this car because it looks great on there. Power disc brakes inside here. You can't see that, but that's there. We're gonna look at the F41 suspension in the back as we walk around right now, and I'll show you what that means. So come on, let's check that out. All right, little stuff like, I wanted you to hear that noise. You hear that noise? That's the key in buzzer. That's a cool noise because you know what? That thing probably didn't work, you know, a year after it was uh, built, let alone 40 years later. Now this one does, it gives you a level of the restoration. Stripes are done correctly like they're supposed to, not all the way down to the edge of the trunk lid. Correct SS tips instead of round tips from Track Auto. These tips, you say, well, what's the big deal about exhaust tips? Well, those tips are five times the price of the ones at Track Auto or, or Advanced Auto Parts. Now I'm dating myself, Track Auto's gone for 20 years. Anyway, all right, so come check this out. This is what I want to talk about, F41 suspension under there, sway bar hanging down, the 12 bolt rear, big fat exhaust legs bent beautifully through there, nicely done, new gas tank, new shocks, you can see all the detail stuff underneath there, so it's, everything's a different color. It wasn't spray bombed black, and that's another thing that you need to look at, a real restored car that's been taken apart and put back together is going to have different color stuff underneath, and it looks really nice, all right? So let's check out under the hood because again, couple more detail stuff in there and I'll show you why. All right, so cool, let's take a peek under here and go, okay, nice. This is what, uh, originally this car was quoted to be a 375 horse car. Don't know if it is or it isn't, uh, but it certainly drives every bit like it did at the time. And so it's dressed up that way and what have you. I, I wanna tell you that this car drives really, really nice. And here's some of the things we were talking about to make it nice. From the front tag bracket to the new moldings and trim and things like that. 
um, little stuff like tower clamps here, okay? So I started to replace all of these with the tower clamps and uh, you can see that some of them, because we wanted to put some uh, the right hoses on there to make sure that those are correct too. So we'll have the rest of the tower clamps on there as well, all right? Correct valve covers. This has the full gauges inside, so you're gonna to get to see those kinds of things. Little stuff we forget to ask about, power steering, man. Power steering is really nice, right? Disc brakes, which are standard on an SS, but power disc brakes as well. So this car drives. That's why Chevelles have become so popular, because you can take another couple out in it, take the kids at them. It's a nice size car. First off, has a ton of power. You can snap your head back. It's easy to drive. You can drive this car to work, man, and that's exactly what I'm hoping you'll do. I'm hoping you'll take it and you'll really enjoy that. We do the little stuff like the battery topper, okay? The GM hoses there, as you can see. Plugs are all routed, stuff like that, all right? Just take a quick look around here and you can kind of see some of the detail and look how nice everything is done inside here. Take a peek inside the trunk. All right, nicely done like it's supposed to be. The correct aqua splatter paint inside there and then the paint is clear coated over, which you want to have done. It's got a new mat in it, so you can throw some uh, your cooler back here, a couple chairs, go to a car show, go to the movies, go out in the car. Got these cool decals like it's supposed to be. It's the little stuff that I'm showing you that makes for a little bit nicer car. You know, yes, you could buy those decals and no, they're not a lot of money, but add the decals, the battery topper, the tag bracket, the trunk mat, the bezels, the tips, and you can kind of see how this keeps going and going and going and it's never ending. And the fact of the matter is this is the way you buy it because you can be driving this car tomorrow. All right, so come on in. Do you hear that? That's the key in buzzer. That's what you would get circa 1970. That's kind of cool, I think. Um, anyway, so black bucket seat interior. So the dash is set up, okay? It's got the tack in it. It's a uh, clock, even the clockwork. It's got the original AM radio in it. Kind of all stock dash, and it's new, and it looks very, very nice. Uh, this is an upgraded version of it, and a lot of people will say, because people will say, well, why does the dash look so nice? Well, this is because this is chrome instead of silver painted. Uh, when they restored the car, they ordered the chrome one, which you could get now, and, uh, and that looks very nice as well. So. Uh, and we know, all know what this is. This looks very nice. How are you doing? Huh? Four-speed shifter in here, three-spoke wheel, new headliner, dome lights working like it's supposed to, console buckets. And you say, well, I could buy one of these cars with a bench seat for a lot less. You're absolutely right, you can. But just to convert one of these cars from bench seat to uh, buckets, console, and all that stuff, carpet included, because that's what you have to do as well, uh, can cost you three to $3,500. And that's a lot of money. The fact of the matter is this car is already done and ready to roll. So anyway, the shifter just feels great. It also has the pedal dress up on it. Again, I keep rambling about all the little stuff, but it's all the little stuff that adds up to the big stuff that gives you a really nice car. So when somebody sees your car, they go, wow, that car is really nice. Why do some people say that about some cars and some people say that they don't say that about other cars, all right? So how about I fire it up for you so you can hear what it sounds like? This is showing 441 miles on it since the restoration. I don't know if that's true or not. The car is really very nice, so uh, it easily could be, but I like to, to point out that you know, everybody uh, starts uh, the odometers over, I'm sure, uh, when they restore the cars, and this is indicative of that. All right, so let's close up the video here and talk a little bit about just this car. This car is fun, man. This thing is, it rolls down the road and you can just feel the torque of the motor in this thing. It's just every time you shift the gears, it's just like that. But as I run down all the great stuff in it, you know, we are talking about uh, the Mark IV Big Block, which is a great engine. We've got a four speed, we got 12 volt, we got Posi, original 75 coated cranberry red car. So this really was a red car, even though there's lots of cars out there that are painted red because it's a great looking color. This car started life as that as well. We got the correct wheels on it. We got the radial TAs because they're a great muscle car tire. And I think maybe the last couple of small items are on the way, uh, like a console top plate that's a little bit nicer than the uh, one that got dinged by somebody's ring finger. And these are the little things that we try to do just to make sure that you get a really nice car. So you've seen it go down the street. You've seen so many of the great things that are on it. And uh, at the end of the day, man, if you can find a way to get this really cool 396 Chevelle in your life, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.